Guten Abend, sehr verehrte Damen und Herren. Good evening and welcome. The Germans are displeased with the one-sided news coverage of the mainstream media, and they are allowing themselves an own opinion. Recently, Willy Wimmer, German parliament member of the CDU party and expert on foreign policy, said in an interview, and I quote, One does not need to watch ARD and ZDF to keep up to date. In order to know what is happening in the world, I definitely do not need these two German channels' news broadcasts. This same opinion is held by an ever-increasing number of citizens who are clearly expressing their frustration. Almost all big television and newspaper editorial staffs are virtually overwhelmed with storms of letters to the editor, direct mails, phone calls and comments on the online portals where the viewers or readers clearly express that they are sick and tired of this one-sided news coverage. If you read the comment columns on the web pages of these editors, you may notice how much the opinion of the citizens differs from what is published on television, radio, in newspapers and magazines. The media's brainwashing propaganda, according to the motto, Russia evil and West good, is obviously not having the desired effect. This is also proven by various representative surveys during the past weeks. These show the majority of Germans do not want a war against Russia, and the majority of Germans has lost their trust in NATO and the European Union. An overwhelming majority, 84% of Germans advises against military support of the Ukraine and is clearly against a NATO military operation. They are pleading for neutrality towards Russia and for a German intermediary role. Also, almost all of the respondents, namely 92%, are against breaking off political relations to Russia. A journalist of the weekly newspaper Die Zeit, The Times, summarized this reality with certain uneasiness. I quote, I haven't seen anything like what is happening here in the quarrel about Russia and Crimea in all my 30 years of experience. If the surveys do not mislead, then two-thirds of the citizens, voters, readers, stand against four-fifths of the political class, that is, against the government, against the overwhelming majority of parliament, and against most of the newspapers and television stations. End of quote. Furthermore, valued viewers, more and more people in Berlin and other German cities are taking to the streets in regular Monday demonstrations in order to publicly voice their displeasure and stand up for peace. And it is not only normal citizens raising their voices against politics and media. More and more prominent persons join in the chorus with others fed up with the mainstream media coverage. At the same time, independent media platforms like Klagemauer TV are springing up all over the world and give the mature citizens what they demand, a possibility to form an own balanced opinion due to hearing also counter voices. For today, we say goodbye with some quotes from the already mentioned commentary columns of the big media. Journalists should report comprehensively and neutrally and should not try to make politics themselves and try to influence people. I want to form my own opinion on the basis of correct information, but I do not need to have an explanation of what I ought to think. I'll do that on my own. All this behavior of the West in the Ukraine crisis is such an aggressive character. It really gives me food for thought. The presentation by the mass media is of such an undifferentiated and one-sided manner, which is usually what dictatorships are blamed for. Never again war, and not ever with German participation against Russia. It is not Putin dividing, but the totally one-sided news coverage. Here it's not about pro-Putin or understanding Putin or such nonsense. It's about facts like the West is actively destabilizing the Ukraine and has built up a suitable political card house and is now standing in front of a pile of broken pieces of incompetence and stupidity. Since I'm a Ukrainian living in Germany, I can empathize in this whole situation, particularly since I still have a number of friends and family living in different parts of Ukraine. It was not little mistakes by ARD, ZDF, 
CNN, BBC, and so on, but a roaring fireworks of massively totally one-sided, not at all differentiated news coverage. For me, the credibility of our TV broadcasters is damaged for an unknown period of time, and I ask myself, what all has been dished up in my credulous times? NDR, are you aware of what the opinion of the majority of the commentators here is? You are working on our behalf and from our money, so get to work. Valued viewers, we wish you a good evening. Make our broadcast known to those who still credulously take just anything that's dished up by the mainstream media. Goodbye until next time.